the truth. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna do this look and since it's a get ready with me I'm a little bit in a hurry so guys if you want to see how I did this look and I tried a lot of new stuff just keep on watching Hey guys, yeah, I forgot to turn on my mic and uh, you missed a lot. <laughs> so what I was saying that I am already moisturized and primed and I use the Nivea aftershave balm to prime my face and it's good for hot weather as we have here in Israel right now. I already have my foundation and primer on, that's what I did when my mic was off and I used the infallible matte foundation in the shade 10 porcelain and 12 natural rose all the products will be in the description down below so check it out I'm so sorry but we will continue and now uh, this foundation and the concealer are pretty matte but it's a little bit sticky just a tiny bit the concealer I mean and I want to set it a little bit and I really like this AOA Studio Perfect uh, setting powder it has a little bit of a sheen to it and it's really nice especially for this dry weather we have this really bad weather right now I don't really like it the only good thing of it is that my skin is not shining shining from the heat because it's so dry and I'm not sweating that's why I'm not uh, shining so we have this type of a sand storm in Israel right now it's very hot it's very dry and we have strong winds with a lot of dust and it's uh, annoying it's very hot in here. Oh yeah, I forgot to say I'm getting ready to go to my mom's house because my brother... Oh my god, I can't put on my makeup and talk at the same time. My brother and his... Uh, uh, I almost said fiancé, but she's like... <laughs> she's like pregnant with their second child. <laughs> She is not his fiance. She's his wife. <laughs> they had their um, birthdays recently. They have them like a uh, day apart. So we're going to meet them. Uh, my brother just landed in Israel. He was um, somewhere in Asia from work. I don't really remember because like every two or three months they go somewhere else like China, Indonesia, I don't know, different places in Asia. See it's brightening and at the same time it has this soft sheen. I really like it. As I was saying <laughs> when my mic was off <laughs> I'm gonna be trying a lot of new stuff today because uh, as you saw I had this haul from Tam Beauty. I bought a lot of Freedom and Makeup Revolution stuff and I'm gonna try them today uh, except my foundation and powders because I don't wanna try something when I'm going to see other people like when I go out to buy something at the store it's fine but when you go out it's like no thank you so I'm gonna do my brows real quick off camera because I'm gonna use the same thing, the BH Cosmetics Pomade 
And again, all the products are gonna be listed down below, so check it out. Be right back. So my brows are a little bit too dark today, but we're gonna fix that with some makeup on my eyes and they're not gonna look as crazy, but they're actually matching my roots. Yes, my roots have grown out so much, but I actually really like this look. And you know when people say that you shouldn't leave your makeup in your car, especially in the summer? This is why. Because things like pomades, like lipsticks, like um, pencils tend to melt in the heat and the pomade that I was using right now was a little bit more soft <laughs> and my brush just picked up a little bit more pigment. So yeah, I think I think I can work with this. But you should just know that you should be careful when you use your uh, soft uh, product. So we're gonna continue and now I'm gonna... Okay, it's already dirty, sorry about that. I already I messed it up. This is the Pro Artist Pad Backstage Palette. And this is so cool. I don't know. I really like this packaging. And it looks like this and has a big mirror and it has a, a big variety of blushes, bronzers and highlighters. And I swatched a couple for you guys in the video with the haul. I'm, I'm gonna link this video here and I'm gonna use this kind of brush to bronze my face. I'm sorry I'm looking at the time because... I'm actually getting ready right now. <laughs> I'm gonna use this shade. Yes, very nice. You know what? I'm, mm, I'm gonna put the blush on in the end, I think I'm gonna try some uh, eye palettes right now and then we're gonna use this one in the end for the blush and the highlighters. We're gonna try... God, they are open up. They are open so hard. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna try this today and... I'll just start with the basic transition shade and uh, we're gonna move to some color after that. Ooh, nice pigment! I bet you can see this. I'm pretty sure you can see it. This is really pigmented. Even for this kind of a light shade. blends out really nicely. I am really pleasantly surprised. For now, wait, the, <laughs> the beginning is really nice, but we're gonna have to wait and see how it's gonna perform with all these shades. I'm not gonna put all the palette on my face, but I wanna try at least a couple of those shades. I love that this palette is mostly matte. You can't find a lot of good matte palettes. So uh, we're gonna continue with the same brush and I think I'm gonna take this shade in my outer corners and uh, blend it into my crease just to add this beautiful color. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Again, the pigmentation is good, the blendability is great, and there's nothing more to say. You can see it, I can see it. This is awesome! I'm just gonna change my 
brush to something a little bit smaller like this I'm gonna continue with this shade right here it's very dark I know and it's very pigmented It blends beautifully and the... Oh god, I think I'm in love. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a flat backing brush now and I want to try this shimmery shade in the middle. Oh god. <laughs> it has a lot of fallout. I think I... It works, but it's not um, like the effect that I want it. So I'm just gonna wet the brush. This is actually mineral water in the bottle, so uh, this is this works uh, good as well. Actually, as a setting mist, also I tried it. Believe me, it's mineral water. Nothing's gonna. It's, believe me, it's not gonna do any worse. <laughs> so, oh my god, on a wet brush, this is so pretty. It's almost. Perfect. I'm gonna drag it uh, onto my uh, inner corner. And actually, the color combination is cute too. You know what? I want to try to add a little bit more with my finger. Ooh. I don't know if you can see, but it did something. Yeah, I packed a little bit more of the glitter. Guys, I am truly in love with this. Um, I am so not sorry for buying this. This is really good quality. And if you want the subculture palette, you should try this first. I'm not gonna put any eyeliner today. Just don't want to. I'm going to do something uh, colorful underneath uh, the eye. So now I think we should choose our blush. I think I want to go with something more peachy today. Oh, very nice. It's more pink than peach. I don't know why. In real life, it looks more peachy than in the camera. I don't know why, it's almost like pink. And it's, damn it, it's too pigmented. Why am I doing this? Yeah, it's the same brush. And I'm not throwing it away because it's very, very soft. And it's so good to blend out your uh, face uh, products. These powders from this big uh, face palette are blending really nicely and they lay down very smooth almost like covering your pores very nice we'll try the highlighter now I have here this highlighter that has a similar sheen to it to like my uh, eyeshadow Damn it, look how pigmented it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like gold, but uh, like almost green gold. I don't know, should I? Just a little bit? I wanna do it. I think my mom will understand. I hope she will. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. It's a little bit green but i don't care i think it's really pretty and it's really cute and i really do recommend this palette uh, and it's so cheap the original price was like 15 pounds i guess it's a british company so it's in pounds and it was 15 pounds so it's like uh 20 dollars i guess and i bought it for 750 in pounds so it's like 10 bucks 
and this is huge it's like the uh, it's bigger than my face and you get a lot of colors in here and the quality is great so I don't know we have a lot of interesting stuff here that I didn't get to use today but I want to try a couple stuff more I just got the uh, the essence eye pencils and they have a lot of really beautiful shades here and I don't know which one to pick I actually thought about doing this one thought about uh, smudging it under my lower lash line but I don't know right now I actually think even to go with this one maybe or even this one because these are much closer to this eye look let's see this one looks like this oh it's very pretty this one it's a little bit darker but again it's really pretty but this one is more on the blue side so I think I'm gonna go with the green one oh, damn it I can't decide <laughs> by the way this one is mermaid for life and this one is rather be a unicorn <laughs> the names are so cute the golden one is heart of gold and this one is really pretty I'm guessing this is the festival collection or something like this Oh, this is cute. Now it looks a little bit more blue. <laughs> I think I want to add something. I'm going to go back to this uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this with the same smudging brush. It has this pointy uh, end to it, so it's going to be easier. And put it on the outer corner. Blend it a little bit into this brown shade. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the, this shimmery shade on the inner corner a little bit more. Putting it over the pencil a little bit. So, yeah, they will blend a little bit more. I'm gonna put some setting spray. I'm gonna go with something a little bit stronger and I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on some mascara. When I don't put on my eyeliner, I love to use mascaras like the Telescopic from L'Oreal because it's like brushing up my um, eyelashes really well and elongates them. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this one. The eye look is done and I wanted to try this new Essence lipsticks. I have only one shade because the other ones were too, I don't know, were too bright, I think. I just wanted to try them so I bought only one. And this is the lightest one. It says, oh three, we are young. They had only three shades. I guess this is the lightest one. It's called Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. I really liked the packaging. This is how it looks. It's like half sheer. This is the shade. I thought it would be a little bit lighter because of the packaging. It might look funny. I don't know if those colors will match, but we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, the color is beautiful and the lipstick itself, the formula is great. It's not too creamy and it's not too hard and it goes on very smoothly, no patches, no nothing. I don't know, what do you think? I think it looks a little bit too colorful but almost not too colorful. It kind of looks cool, I think. 
You know what? I kind of like it. And you almost can't see the blush now, so it's actually pretty good because I think if I had more blush on, it would look crazy, like clown crazy. But I actually think it looks pretty nice. And since I have really muted clothes on, it will look pretty nice, I think even with my purple hair <laughs> so yeah this is the finished look i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget that notification bell so you won't miss any of my next videos we will see each other in the next one bye now uh i'm gonna go put some pants on bye. The truth. Oh, 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 oh,